What is a skin barrier? The skin barrier is the outer layer of your skin. It's made up of dead skin cells, lipids, proteins, and fats protect the skin from the environment. The rest of your skin is a living organism, but your skin barrier's role is to keep that living skin protected. Think of it as your armor. It works to keep the water in, the hydration in, and to keep chemicals, bacteria, infections out. The skin barrier is almost to the likeness of a brick wall. Corneocytes are the skin cells that make up your brick wall. Lipids are the natural fat in your skin, which would be considered mortar to your brick wall. So mortar is like the cement that holds bricks together. Lipids are the fats that hold the brick wall together. Very scientific. Fills the gaps in between each brick. Lipids are also known as ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. What does it mean when your skin barrier is damaged? So going back to your armor, say you've been in battle and so some of your armor is torn. Now you're vulnerable to being harmed, right? That's the same as a skin barrier being damaged. You have done a little bit of harm, now there's an opening, they're gonna all gonna come up in there and your skin's gonna be irritated and itchy. It's important to go see your dermatologist to find out exactly what sort of skin irritation you have. Over exfoliating your skin is one of the main reasons you can have a damaged skin barrier. You're just doing too much. You're using too many harsh chemicals on your skin, scrubbing your skin too hard. The thing that maybe you're not doing that's causing your skin barrier to be damaged is you are not moisturizing. Yes, if you have oily skin or acne prone skin, it is still very important that you moisturize the skin. If you do not moisturize the skin and you have oily skin, your skin is gonna produce more oil to overcompensate for the lack of moisture. I know that just sounds so crazy and bizarre, but it is true. You need to moisturize even oily and acne prone skin. And the best type of moisturizers for that is a gel type moisturizer. Some signs that you could have a damaged skin barrier. Number one is acne. Number two, dry or flaky skin. Inflammation, irritation, so red, bumpy, scaly, hurty, burny, all. Itchiness, rough patches, stinging, especially when you apply skincare, whether it be the most gentle skincare, or of course, if you apply an active to a damaged skin barrier, it's going to burn so bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Some ways that we can prevent and heal our skin barrier. Number one, wash with lukewarm water. Our skin produces healthy oils, so if you're washing with hot water, it just melts those healthy oils off. Back in the day, we had St. Ives apricot scrub. No, 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 no. We're not doing that anymore. You want to stick to more gentle exfoliants. I opt for chemical exfoliants like salicylic acid, AHAs, things like that. Using something like a harsh scrub can cause problematic tears in your skin and that has opened that Pandora's box where every type of infection come up in your skin and we just don't have time for that. The trick with exfoliation is you gotta start off slow. You wanna start maybe two times a week. Exfoliation is important. It helps slough off those dead skin cells to show that beautiful glow that you have underneath. But we just can't go wild. Let's keep your skin moisturized. It's something we all need. There are different types of moisturizers out there. But yes, you have to moisturize your skin. Last and not least is SPF. You have got to keep your skin protected from the sun. We love the sun, right? Well, I don't. But we love a nice, beautiful day. Well, I don't. I take a rainy day over a sunny day. Any day, but that's another story. The sun is brutal to the skin. It just causes all sorts of problems. Protect yourself from it. You have to use a sunscreen every single day, even if it's raining even if it's overcast. There are so many good sunscreens on the market right now. There's really no excuse not to wear. The sunscreen I'm using today is Beauty of Joseon. This is the Ginseng Sun Serum. You have to keep your pH balanced. You stay at about a 5.5, and if you get too high or too low, what causes skin irritations, acne, psoriasis, all that kind of stuff. Sticking with a skincare routine, being consistent, cleansing your skin, moisturizing your skin, protecting your skin will make sure that you keep a strong, healthy barrier. If you have damaged that skin barrier, this is what you're gonna need to do to get it back.
No actives for two weeks. Cleanse your skin with a gentle cleanser. Use a hydrating gentle toner, anything like Vanna Cream, Aquaphor. Stay away from vitamin C, AHA, BHA, retinoids for two weeks. You will start to see a difference in a couple of days. It will start feeling better. Okay.